don't eat that. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about foraging. Sometimes you forage in your own yard and you have planted things and especially when you're working with a back to even garden, if you plant something and you put seeds down and then it rains, sometimes before they have germinated, the rain will actually wash them underneath the wood chips and they will move, which has happened to me several times and I've got onions in places that I didn't plant them. I've had things pop up 20 feet away from where I planted them and they do their job, they get to you know good size and I leave them alone because they're, they're good plants and I wanna eat them. I planted some carrots last fall and they didn't germinate and I was like, eh, you know, that happens with carrots, carrots are finicky. Sometimes you're successful, sometimes you're not. And I just was like, whatever, I'll do it again later. No big deal. Well, then spring came and I thought they had moved themselves. And I was so excited because I was like, my carrots germinated. And then I started watching these plants that I thought were carrots. And I was like, hmm, doesn't seem quite like a carrot. And so what I found out is that these are not carrots. I did a little bit of research and I realized, oh no, I have poison hemlock in my garden. So before I pull them up, I want to teach you a little bit of how you can tell the difference. First of all, a carrot stem is going to have the fuzzies on it, kind of the way that a tomato plant does. Secondly, if you see purple, it is poison. It is not a carrot. It is not a wild carrot or a Queen Anne's lace. It is a poison hemlock and you do not want to eat that. That will make you sick, sick, sick. So. As it gets bigger, it will definitely be purple, purple, but I'm not gonna leave it to do that. But I don't know if you guys can tell at all. I'm gonna get in here so maybe you can see a little better. But there is a purple hue, and then sometimes at the joints where the leaves meet, there will be a purple stripe. Poison hemlock is a biannual, so I can go ahead and pull all these out, and I shouldn't have a problem again next year, hopefully, because they only seed every two years, right? But if I had not been doing my due diligence and I thought these were carrots and I fed this to my family, they could get super, super sick, possibly die. So please, please, please be careful when you are foraging, even if it's in your own garden, even if you know what you planted and you think something came up that you planted, double check. Make sure that you know what you're eating because some things are wonderful and some things can kill you.